the hard thing for uh, women these days on social media has to be that I don't know if guys come right up to women anymore and just talk to them unless I mean we're in Texas I mean there's still some there's still some real men here but there's it's just there's just a real weird climate to mm-hmm. how everyone communicates now mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Uh, I, a lot of guys don't even want to ask for a phone number I'll just DM and we'll just see what happens mm-hmm. so there's so there's not a lot of commitment there mm-hmm. yeah um, no there's, risk yeah, there's like, I'm going to dip no my risk. toe, see what right. happens, and then I don't have to get shot down. Right. Or, yeah. um, I don't know, it's a weird it's a weird deal. Yeah, um, I mean, I think it stems from a lot of things. I mean, people are, successful people want to meet successful people, and successful people, people are innately busy. Um, and so they're not necessarily always welcoming of being approached. I'm not always welcoming of being approached. I'm typically going from A to B, and I'm beeline and um so i don't love getting interrupt interrupted um but the other end of it is um i think people you know are scared to put themselves out there mm-hmm. because you know the, the worst thing is rejection it's not you know all right well i tried and you know and and try again i yeah. mean that's totally lost i mean that's totally left with in the 50s you know a man gets shut down and he still is like no i like that girl and I'm going to keep going after that girl. I mean, that's unheard of nowadays. Yeah, I think there's a lot of guys who aren't um, secure in themselves. Mm-hmm. So they um, they use the excuse of, well, you know, I don't want to be too forward. I don't want to make someone feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it takes uh, a few broken eggs to make an omelet, they mm-hmm. say. Yeah. Like, if you really want something, you got to get out there For and sure. get after yeah. it. Anything don't be a, Don't be a weird creep Mm -hmm. or anything like that but um being assertive is Mm -hmm. is part of Mm -hmm. what what a man is supposed to be in my opinion Mm -hmm. a protector a provider assertive knows the direction he's going confident Mm -hmm. whether uh he's getting a bunch of praise and affirmation behind the scenes or not he's just blazing right um and that's uh that's lost. Mm -hmm. You know, I ask a lot of the ladies who come on the podcast, these questions, because it's a big concern. Mm -hmm. I know for a lot of Mm y'all, there's just this, like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Where the, where the, where the real men at? Mm -hmm. And there, there's not that, I don't think there's an easy answer to any of that. No, I think it's generations of, you know, broken homes mixed with, um, generations of, of, you know, kind of some, uh, role, some blurred roles at home. I mean, for sure. I mean, you know, I grew up single, single mom home. Um, mom worked her ass off. Um, and you know, definitely raised me with some good morals, but I mean, I didn't have, I didn't have a, a man present in the home. Um, and so, you know, what do I become? Well, I become a, I become a strong independent female. Um, I, and that's not like a, you know, raise the flag, whatever <laughs> feminism. I don't, I'm not, a, I would never say I'm a feminist. Um, but you, you, you repeat what you're taught, you know, and that was the example in my home. So that's what I've r- continued to do. Um, and I, I bring, raise strong children, not just girls, a boy too. Um, and I think on the other end of that, you know, you've got men who didn't grow up possibly with a dad at the home, in the home or in the home much, um, and so they see this um, strong woman, this capable woman, who's doing the best she can to hold it all down, um, and that's attractive to them because you, you know you hear it a ton- you hear it all the time. You you want to date your mom in some ways, um, and so they go seek that. And that's I mean that's a pretty easy road. I mean you go from you know a mom who did everything she t- she could to raise you well, take care of you. And then you find that in a mate, and now all of a sudden the cycle kind of continues because the men have never, and I mean not to say that this is a this is obviously a, a, a generalization. There are definitely strong men out there, um, and I know several, but um, they they've never been taught. They don't know what that looks like. They don't know. They don't even. They don't. We are a, we are a generation where so many of us, uh, multiple generations now, don't know what a positive family dynamic really looks like. Um, and that's not to say that everybody didn't do their best, um, but you you did what you had to do um, in the situation that you were in, and that left a lot of women, I think, um, learning how to take on a lot more 
than maybe they did 50 years ago. And a lot of men um, really happily relinquishing a lot of things, you know, mm. that 50 years ago, man, that would have been, that would have made him really uncomfortable. And I'm not trying to say I want to live in the fifties. Do not want to live in the fifties. Um, because I think progress is good. Um, but it's, there's definitely got to be some sort of balance, you know, I think for it to be really healthy. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a weird deal because we talk about like the, the home dynamic, a broken home mm-hmm. is what it can be referred to sometimes mm-hmm. when, you know, maybe everybody did do their best. Maybe mm-hmm. just things didn't work out the mm-hmm. way they're supposed to. Mm-hmm. I know sometimes, you know, bad things happen that can drive a wedge and, mm-hmm. and it just is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, Hey, what's up? Thanks for checking out my videos here on the Jess Marshall YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe for sure. Hit that bell. Press that button to watch the next video. If you got a question you have about any of the topics I bring up in the videos, drop a question below and we'll be sure to get an answer back to you ASAP. See you on the next one.